All right, today we are going to be learning about writing functions in C++ from the scratch. So if you are a beginner, that is fine. If you are coming from another programming language, that is fine. So if you have Eclipse installed, that will be fine because I'm using Eclipse. If you have another compiler, that will also be okay. So let's go ahead to open Eclipse. If you've installed it, just go ahead to double, double click to open it, launch it. And then we go ahead to create a new file uh, from the scratch and see how we can get to understand how functions work in C++. So at this point, uh, we, we've opened uh, the compiler and Eclipse in this case. So go ahead to click on file and say new and just choose new uh, project. So when you choose new project, in the list of items that comes out, you'll see a, a number of items go ahead to choose C++ project because that is what we want to create. So at this point, uh, you need to be careful here. Don't don't make executable because we are just doing a tutorial. Go down to make file project because this will ensure that a project we are creating, we can actually uh, use it to do a test to see how functions work and then we can then move on to something else. So let's use hello world C++ make project. Uh, in this case, we are allowing the, the compiler to set up a few things for us. So let's give it a name, function tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead to click on this. So we have all this. So I'm going to just say uh, finish. So it now creates the, the template for us. So as you can see, all right. So what I'm going to do without having to do anything, I'm going to run this program so that you see exactly how it works. So go ahead to click on this button here called um, run. So I'm going to click on it. So it's an application and I'm just going to uh, launch build binary not find. Okay, so what you are going to do in this case, just go to project and then say build. That is the first thing you want to do, build. So when you build, it, it displays a message in the console that says uh, make all and eventually says build finished error zero warning zero. Okay. All right. Let me just pull this down a bit. All right. So I'm going to now run it so that we see that everything works fine. So I'm going to click on run and then click on run. Selection cannot be the launch. There are no recent. Okay. So let's just say click on this run at this point. Selection cannot be. Okay, that's strange. So I'm going to run as local C++ application. Okay, good. All right, so you right click and just run and then choose local C++ ap application. So now the output window is hidden. Let me see if I can bring it out again. Yeah, okay. okay. So we have the output window there. All right. So we can see that it displays on the screen, international computer programmers. Let me take out some things from here. Take note that this the syntax coloration in C++ is really good. In Eclipse, it's, it's really good. It tells you uh, the colors of different parts of the program. In this case, we have the the comments to be in the in green. So. Let's now make some changes to make this simpler because this is actually what we are going to be use, using for most of the tutorial. So let's take out this and then let's say return zero because that is easier to understand because in main void returns zero. Okay, so what I like to do, I like to say C out and then say uh, functions tutorial okay so I'm going to now say end line end line means just add a new line at the end so at this point it tells us uh, cout cannot be resolved so to solve this problem just say inside this line that says using namespace std so std is a namespace that contains uh, definitions for these functions and then also go ahead to say include include iostream 
IOStream is a library that contains uh, definitions for this function. So um, I include IOStream, IOStream, and that is fine. So I hope this will go. So let's go ahead to build, project, build. So it says finished, zero, one in zero, error zero. I'm going to right click and just say run as, run as, as local C++ application. And let's give a second, make all, okay. So you can see it's running here on functions tutorial and everything works as you can see. All right, so um, now we are talking about how to write functions. So what we are seeing now is the main program. This is the main program. So let's write a function that executes and displays hello or uh, hello user on the screen. Take note that a function is just a block of code that executes uh, on its own. So the first thing you are going to do is to give this function a return type and a name. So this function will not return anything, so it's going to be void. And the name of this function is say hello. And now you open and close a uh, parenthesis and then now at this point I've created the stop or the template for my function called say hello and I'm just going to display on the screen C out hello programmers All right so uh, this function simply says hello programmers and I'm going to also uh, I'll display an end line here. End line, and then I'm going to display another on the second line. I'm going to say good, goodbye. All right. So at this point, I've written a function that says hello programmers, and then displays goodbye. So this is a very beautiful function, as you can see, no errors. But if I run this code. First, let me save, and at, and at this point, I'm going to also build project, build all. Actually, I could have said build project, and I, I now can click and run function tutorial.ese, or simply say run as local C++ application. And you can see it actually ignores my function completely and displays uh, runs uh, C out this line of code here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to call this function because before you use a function, you the first thing you are going to do is to call the function. And to call a function, you simply use the name of the function and then use opening and closing brackets. So I will simply say in this place, say hello, open and close, and that is as simple as that. So if I run this code now, it's going to actually run this function by displaying these items here. So I'm going to click, I'm going to, I think I, I, normally it's going to build and also run automatically. So you can see it's building and now it's running. So the first line of the code runs from the main program. This is C alt function tutorial. Uh, function tutorial is the first line. So when it comes to this say hello, uh, it actually goes up and calls calls the say hello function and then displays the content to the screen. So this is like the basics, the basics of how functions work in in uh, C++. We are now going to continue in the next tutorial and we are going to look at parameterized function, giving uh, uh, parameters to a function and expecting it to return a value. So I'd like to thank you for viewing and let's see in the next lesson.